Welcome to Cohort's tour of the CSA Greenhouse. We hope you enjoy the video. There are definitely plenty of plants to look at while visiting the greenhouse. We will be able to look at them in a minute, but first let's visit the classroom area of the greenhouse. Parts of a flower, this one's a petal, this one's a leaf. Does anyone know what this part is? Starts with an A. <gasps> Not that word. Oh, and a bird. <laughs> okay, that didn't go so well. Moving on now. This is our hydroponic system. Right now, we're using it to grow tomatoes. The hydroponic system works by pumping water from a tank below up through these small black hoses into the buckets that hold the plants. One cool thing about the hydroponic system is that these plants are grown without any soil. The flowers that you see will all turn into tomatoes soon. The white patches you see on the leaves are signs of bugs called thrips that love to eat and lay their eggs on tomato leaves. We use the string tied to the ceiling to give the plant support as it grows using clips. We are growing these tomatoes for a school project called Project Powder. Project Powder. Part of the project is taking different measurements of the plant. Here, we're measuring the height of each plant. Next, we trim off the axillary stems, which grow in between the main stem and the stem of the leaves. Taking these off help the plant grow up and not out. Next, we use these plastic clips to clip the plants to the string and adjust them as the plants grow. Next, we test the pH of the water the plants are getting. The pH is how acidic or basic something is. Our tomato plants like a low pH, which means a more acidic water. We take a sample of water and drop a special dye that will change color to show the pH level. As you can see here, our water is too basic, so we add a little bit of hydrochloric acid into the water to take the level down a bit. Next, we take the EC level, which is the amount of nutrients the water gives the plants. This is basically the plant's food. When we need to add more, we mix up three different solutions that will help the plant grow and put on more flowers. We put all of the data that we collected into the computer to track how our plants have grown. Since this is a greenhouse, greenhouses have plants inside, right? Ah, 